we've been using the 2140 here uh, for about eight months and gone through a whole bunch of changes and updates and different things. Uh, overall, the 2140 has been really uh, useful here at our facility, and as a matter of fact, we like them so much that uh, we've already purchased two of them right out of the gate uh, as soon as they became available for purchasing. So we've we've got our beta unit and two other analyzers here already. Um, you know, we're using them primarily. We do uh, two channel for our you know route data collection with the 2130. With the 2140, we have the ability to do the triaxial, um, as he showed you in the chart, which significantly reduces down your time. And uh, also for advanced diagnostics, the 2140 has a lot more uh, capabilities for doing advanced diagnostics. Um, you know, some of the things that he kind of covered, uh, I'll hit on again. If you're going to do uh, four points of data collection simultaneously, you know, two horizontals and two verticals on, on a piece of equipment that maybe you want to do an orbit on and you want to compare how this machine is moving or, you know, see what's going on with it, um, you can collect all four of those simultaneously. Plus, you can also use your TAC while you're doing that, uh, which is really important. Um, we found that this thing has got it just a ton of storage space in it. We've been able to load up all of our routes for all of our equipment on here. You can leave them on there, uh, run out and get all the data you want. You're not going to fill up the uh, the uh, storage space inside the 2140. Um, the touch screen is really a cool feature. We really like that. Um, like you said, you can even use it with your gloves, which is handy because a lot of the areas we're working in are, you know, pretty dirty or, or very hot environments, so we wear our gloves for protection, and we're still able to um, utilize the touch screen even with those on and the battery life. You know, I, a lot of times I dump my data, uh, hook it up to my computer, dump the data, and I forget to plug the uh, power in and come back the next day and you know, power it right back up. It hasn't charged overnight or nothing. I could still go back out to the field and, and collect quite a bit more data. Um, and for doing an ODS, you know, with the 2130, we've done quite a bit of ODSs out here at our facility where we found that we have equipment problems or different things. We want to see how it's moving. And so with the 2130, of course, we set our reference uh, point, and then we roamed for one accelerometer, we roamed with the other accelerometer, so we had to put it in the horizontal direction and the vertical direction and the axial direction for every single uh, point that we're going to plot out in our ODS, and, uh, you know, it's very time-consuming, so you're actually taking three readings for every point, and you could have hundreds of points that you have to collect, so you're in essence three to four hundred data collection um, it takes quite a bit of time, and now with 2140, we've done ODSs in our beta testing. We've set the references to channel one. We use the accelerometer for channels two, three, and four, and we're able to just put the, you know, orient the uh, triaxial uh, transdu transducer right there for each point, hit go, and it automatically collects that horizontal vertical axial, which really cuts down on your uh, advanced diagnostics uh, time that you're out there getting the data, so we really like that as well. I know that CSI Emerson is in the process of making some really um, cool accessories and different things that they're still working on. Um, they're really looking forward to some prototypes and, and things that they're coming out with, but overall, the, right now, this is just a solid unit, and, and it is very fast, and we, we have had nothing but, like I said, we've had nothing but good things to say about it and have already purchased two of them um, for ourselves.